Good evening. From KQMED RX Nightly News, I'm Skylar Jones Vanderberger with an exclusive breaking news report. This is an exclusive report that you will only see here on KQMED RX Nightly News. We have recently learned that one of the longest working stenographers in California. What's that? Sonographer. Really? <clears throat> We have recently learned that one of the original sonographers in the great state of California is retiring. Of course, this comes as a great shock to the medical community, and it's feared that the impact will be felt not only throughout Kaiser Permanente, but by pregnant women everywhere, not to mention those of us with small parts. Rita K. Ernst was the very first sonographer <clears throat> employed by Kaiser Permanente 37 years ago. She's been scanning babies' breasts, bellies, and balls ever since. Not surprisingly, the news of losing the very first sonographer in the area will be met with great shock and a great deal of concern. Kay's shoes will be so hard to fill, in fact, that Llewellyn Wadagas, a manager in Vallejo, has decided to undress the entire staff in the hopes of heading off outright panic. We take you now to Llewellyn's office, where she is preparing to read a statement. Good evening. As we prepare to say goodbye to Kay and wish her much deserved happiness in her retirement, I feel it is very important to let you all know how hard we will be working to make this transition as smooth as possible. Kay's retirement will obviously leave a huge void in the imaging department, which will be felt for months, perhaps even years. Within a few months, we will plan to begin scheduling meetings, creating a work group, and eventually a pilot program to determine whether or not replacing her is in the budget. My hope is that we will have the data back from regional within six months to a year. And on a more personal note, Kay. Radiology, Llewellyn. Thank you, Ms. Watergas, and now, Joining us via satellite, the Area Director of Napa Solano Imaging Services, Mr. Bo Carson. Mr. Carson, can you tell our viewers of KQMEDRX exactly what this loss means to Kaiser Vallejo and indeed the entire Kaiser Permanente organization? You know, I'm a numbers guy. I work seven days a week and I really enjoy looking at numbers. In fact, my wife will tell you that I look at numbers more than I look at just about anything else. Imogen, this is Bob. May I help you? Thank you, Mr. Carson. Skylar Jones Vanderberger here with an exclusive update on the K. Ernst retirement. KQMEDRX has just received exclusive footage from K's co-workers that was taped earlier today by our affiliate KQMEDRX7. I must warn you now, some of what you're about to see may be disturbing to some of our more sensitive viewers. This footage is raw, graphic, emotional and unedited. My name is Christy Snowball. Thank you for joining us today. As a sonographer, how many words per minute do you type? Um, sonographers aren't typists. I think you're confusing that with stenographer. Well, then um, do you scan testicles? We, we do a lot of those. And if there's like a thyroid and a testicle, yeah, I'm so going to scan the testicles. Sam, Sam. At, at least one. And how does that make you feel? Well, I mean, it's just a job and they're testicles. And some are big, some are small, but we scan them all. Ultrasound is like a box of chocolates. You pick up that requisition and you never know what you're going to get. We'll not do it anymore. Full, full of it. Full of that testicles, full. What is your fondest memory of Kay? 
Uh, you know, Kay always comes in every morning with a smile on her face, always. Um, so, you know, my fondest memory is, I don't think it's a specific memory. Kay is just always happy and bubbly and fun to be around. Working with Kay is working with my best friend every day, seeing her face in the morning, knowing she's working next, in a room next door to me. It's when she came to my house one night for a slumber party and she actually brought a male stripper along. Oh my. Yeah. I had never seen anything like that before. So I don't think that's what I'm gonna forget. My fondest memory of Kay actually is when she walks down the hall, her shoes always squeak and make a sound. And you always know when Kay is coming because of that sound and I'll miss that. I always know her walk even if I'm two doors away. She's my martini buddy. We were in the uh, pursuit for a long time of finding the perfect white chocolate martini and we were very close. I think we actually found it. We just can't remember where it was. The, the, the first impression of Kay, it was when she greeted me and it was so, so much so nice and so warm and so I feel welcome. And it was eight years ago. How exactly do you tell the difference between a boy and a girl on an ultrasound? Girls are usually smiling and calm, and boys throw a lot of gang signs. Well, they taught us in school. Boys look like little turtles. The scrotum sac is the turtle shell. The penis is the head popping out of the shell. Uh, you know, I get that question a lot. Um, if you like, I can Yes. Draw it for you and yes. show you because yes, it's, it's a little easier to explain if you like just kind of draw it. Okay. And um, um, you want to bear with me for a second and I can just show you exactly what okay, what it looks like on ultrasound because people get really weird if you tell them one thing and then. So if you look, um, so this is a girl and of course it's really easy to tell that this is a girl and the boys, this is the boy over here and um, this is the one with the penis, so. What is that, that goo made of that you spread all over your, your people? Can, can you show me? Can you sure. show me? Watch this. Oh, oh. Eh. Eh. Here you go. Thank you. Yes. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> it's actually fragrance free. You can use mustard also, oh. but. Nice. nice. Actually, I do that. Yes, daily. That's why, you That's why I look 47. Next question. Working here without Kay is going to be like? Working without my best friend. Kay is one of those special and unique people. She's extremely nurturing. She's extremely compassionate. She is very non-judgmental. And I always tell Kay, they don't make them like you anymore. So she will be missed. How are you gonna tell all these OB patients that since Kay's gone, we're no longer gonna be doing OB ultrasounds? We cannot function without Kay, sorry. Sorry, no, no more. Tell me three words that describe Kay. Fun, caring, and an amazing friend. Fun. Lovable. Funny. Giving. Generous. Bright. Very compassionate. Kind and lovely. That's why we love her. Genuine. Huggable. Very, very huggable. What do you want for Kay for the future? I want Kay to come back to work and I want Kay to be happy. I just want Kay to enjoy life. I just want her to do things for herself. I want her to go on vacations if, that what she, if that's what she would like. I hope she has a very, very full retirement. I hope her life is healthy and happy for many, 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 many years because she definitely deserves it. She's worked hard. Be relaxed. Need a lot. Oh, 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 oh. And yeah, just have fun. I just want her to be happy. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Chrissy Snowball. 
KQMEDRX has just learned that a group has gathered in Kay's honor at a local business. This coverage is coming to you exclusively from KQMEDRX. You won't get this coverage anywhere else. Let's see if we can get a closer look inside. Just a girl and she's on fire Harder than a fantasy Lonely like a highway She's living in a world and it's on fire Feeling the catastrophe But she knows she can fly away
Well, that's it for our coverage on the K. Ernst retirement. I'm Skylar Jones Vanderberger, and this has been an exclusive report from KQMEDRX Nightly News. And remember, if it didn't happen, you didn't hear it from us. Good night. This is the boy over here, and um, this is the one with the penis, so... <laughs> That's what was going on. She did. <laughs>